beavers, they are a missing component of our ecosystems. They would have shaped our landscapes in a way that we can only just glimpse here. So there will be a huge impact on, um, on biodiversity and on the, the way um, our watercourses and our landscapes look. So we put beavers into this enclosure in 2011, so they've been here now for about eight years. They're a native species to Britain, uh, and they are what we call a keystone species, which means the impact they have benefits a whole range of other species. And um, one of the reasons why we wanted to, uh, to reintroduce this animal was to see what other species benefited from it and what it did to our watercourses and to our, to our wetlands. Beavers have got the most amazing ability to withstand really cold conditions. Uh, they've got a really dense fur. I think it's something like 35,000 hairs per square centimetre of fur. You know, they're really, really tiny, tiny microscopic um, hairs that they've got, which is one of the reasons why they were hunted. The University of Exeter have been studying this site in a lot of detail, and we've got about 180 metres of watercourse from the top to the bottom of the site. And we've now got 13 dams, which hold roughly a million litres of water in the ponds. So it's an astonishing amount of water that's being stored here. The impacts of beavers on this sort of habitat are phenomenal. We're just seeing a really dynamic mix of habitats forming. So you get lots of what we call ecotones, which is the sort of zone between one habitat and another. And it's just much more of a patchwork, which is great. And also for people's enjoyment of the countryside. People are loving watching beavers down on the River Otter. You know, people get great views of them, feeding their kits and uh, swimming around in the, in the lower reaches of the river which is a really positive thing. One of the animals that we are particularly interested in is water voles. Uh, they've done so badly over the last 20, 30 years. They've almost plummeted to 5% of their original um, population. And the main reason for that is, um, is mink, and mink will feed on water voles very effectively, but also it's about complexity of habitat. What we're hoping to show with beavers is that they create these much more complex wetlands, and so water voles are able to spread much wider and have this much more robust population. It means they're less vulnerable to things like mink predation. We're just in the process now of pulling together the final documents, which will be um, provided to the government uh, towards the end of 2019. And at that point, it will be up to the government to make the decision as to whether beavers, or beavers can remain or not. So Den Wildlife Trust is, is reliant on donations. We're still running a beaver appeal to try and encourage people to donate to us. We're a fairly small charity and so um, all this costs a lot of time and a lot of money. So we really appreciate all of the, the support that we get. So please feel free to visit our website and, uh, and, and donate to the beaver appeal.